the last few weeks I've been saying I'm getting ready for quilt market and I thought I'd make a little video on what that actually means for me as a British um, quilt pattern designer. So I'm Tracy Perks, I live in the UK and I live on um, a narrowboat and I'm sat here now in my floating studio and I thought it would be interesting to talk about what I'm doing to get ready for quilt market. I went to Quilt Market last year for the first time and I didn't know anybody. Um, so I booked on, there's classes that you can book on throughout the weekend. And on the first day, which was the Friday, I booked on a networking session, which was really good actually, because I've realized that I did know people through other people. Um, so that was good. So if you're going for the first time, I'd recommend doing some kind of networking session just to get to know people. So I'm fortunate enough this time to be staying in an Airbnb. Um, I'm staying with my friends, Rona the Riveter, that you've probably heard me talk about, and Nancy McNally. So we're staying together um, a little way from the convention centre, but um, it's going to be nice to be able to go back to somewhere and just chill out in the evenings. So getting ready for Quilt Market. Um, now I've been, and it's my second time, I... I feel that I'm a lot more prepared. I've got myself a brand new notebook and um, I've made absolutely loads of notes from, you know, what, what flights I'm taking, um, what time it's, uh, it lands, um, how I'm getting from the airport um, to uh, what's happening every single day and times for that. I've got a checklist of everything that I need. So obviously passport, ESTA, you know, the visas, all that kind of stuff travel insurance. Um, so I've got a bit, few bits to print out um, ready for that. Um, and then there's other things to take like quilts. So I'm taking the spring quilt and I'll be demonstrating cutting that out with um, Maria de Groot from um, Checkers and Creative Grids. We've got an hour session on the Saturday um, to cut the quilt out and uh, I can't wait for that. It's going to be really good fun. But going back to the Friday, Friday is schoolhouse and schoolhouse is where people and I'm probably ex going to explain this wrong, but it's where designers, um, you know, industry professionals can go and um, showcase their products, talk about their products. And there's allotted times for this and it's busy. It's a busy day and there's people moving from room to room. Um, and I think there's like a five minute break in between stuff. So um, that's going to be really exciting. And I'm going to help my friend Sandrasa out. I um, can't remember what I'm doing, but I did say to her, I will come and help you. I think I might be handing out leaflets or something. Um, so that's going to be on the Friday. And then Friday evening, they have a thing called Sample Spree. So you have to book on that separately. Um, I went last year. It was absolutely crazy. There's queues of people getting in. Uh, there's some great bargains that can be had. Um, but I'm going to help out on a stand. So um, that's going to be a different point of view for me. So that's something else to look forward to. And again, from going last year, I've met so many people that this time I don't feel that I'm going to be lonely or worried about stuff. Because if I am worried about anything, there's going to be people that I can talk to. And um, yeah, so it's going to be great. So I'm also doing a demonstration on the Saturday afternoon after the Creative Grids one um, with E.E. E. Schenk. So E.E. E. Schenk carry my patterns and um, I'm going to be demonstrating, standing and talking to people basically about my patterns, how simple they are. So I've got things to take like patterns, obviously, easels. Um, so I've got some little mini easels that uh, I want to stand the patterns on so people can have a look at them. I'm also going to do a giveaway as well over the weekend of a bundle of my patterns. So that's something else that I need to get prepared for. I've got meetings with other distributors as well, um, booked in over the uh, three days. And um, my Tulips Bloom quilt is going to be on the Moda, the United Notions booth as well. So um, that's two quilts, the spring quilt, the Tulips quilt. And also I'm taking the Cashel quilt. So that's going to be on the Marant Group stand. And I've got to make some samples. Well, I've not got to. I want to make some samples uh, with some Bozal product um, for that stand as well. So um, 
that's something else that I need to prep for. I've got um, a meeting booked with my now good friend, Lisa Baker, who I met last year at Quilt Market. Lisa um, owns Sewindipidus Quilt Shop in South Carolina, and um, she does all my printing for me and the fulfillment of my order. So everything gets printed in the US, um, and I don't need to ship anything here from the UK. I've also got a big list of people that I want to see and network with. So as well as touching base with the distributors that carry my patterns, I want to meet with some fabric designers as well. So I've got a list in my notebook of who I want to talk to. I want to have a look at some different rulers um, to use in patterns for next year. I also want to talk to people about patterns that I've got um, that are for 2025 and see how they can be used. So at the minute, I've got some marvellous mini makes that I'm working on that will be coming out in January throughout the whole of 2025. Then um, I've got at least four or five quilt patterns designed for 2025 already. And then there's some other things that I would like to do uh, with some different products as well. So um, I want to touch base with people, get in front of them, talk to them about my ideas, um, and then just get that networking going. So friends over here in the UK that have got quilts being displayed in different booths, I want to go and get some pictures and take them and send them to them as well. So I've made notes of everything because I will forget it's it's totally overwhelming. Um, there's so much to do. There's so many people to see. It's a brilliant environment to be in. It's a great environment. And then there's also the quilt show as well. Um, that is, um, it, it's in between the two halls and uh, it's there for Quilt Festival, which is on a few days later. So I'll be able to go around and have a look at that as well while I'm there. Um, I've probably forgotten absolutely loads of things to tell you, but this is what it looks like for me. And then I've even actually got a list of what clothes I'm taking because my suitcase is going to be full of patterns um oh and then there's the product leaflets as well so i've had some product leaflets printed my business cards have been printed um so i want to try and distribute as many of those as i can and i want to show people samples of my patterns because i think once they see how simple my patterns are and how clear they are then i'm hoping that people will like to stock them in their shops so back to the suitcase um, I've even made a list of the clothes that I'm going to take because my suitcase is going to be full of quilts. Um, so I, I need to pack carefully and not take too many things and mi mix and match. So I'm not allowed to take more than um, two pairs of shoes and I'll be wearing one of them. Um, so, yeah, I just thought it would be a fun thing to do to tell you how I'm getting ready for Quilt Market. I am... Um, probably overexcited at this moment there is um just about a week to go and my head is absolutely full of quilting stuff i can't think of anything else so um there you have it if you've got any questions then please do let me know and uh, i will do my best to answer them thank you for watching and if you like this video please press the like button and subscribe to my channel